This month, Google unveiled its latest attempt to dethrone ChatGPT from the position it's held since it launched as king of the generative AI chatbots. BARD, now renamed Gemini, was released in early 2023 following OpenAI's groundbreaking LLM-powered chat interface. And to be honest, it often seemed as if it was playing catch-up. BARD was capable of accessing the internet from day one thanks to its integration with Google's search technology. Meanwhile, the launch version of ChatGPT was confined to the knowledge it was fed during their training. But OpenAI soon added connectivity and the ability to access external information to ChatGPT via a hookup with Microsoft's Bing. And connectivity aside, the consensus has always tended to be that ChatGPT is just more useful for a wider range of language processing tasks. Now Google is pulling out the stops, rebranding BARD with the name of the language model that's doing the work behind the scenes and allowing access to its advanced service via a subscription. Price to compete head-on with ChatGPT. So is it ready to step into the ring and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the undisputed champion? Here in this video, we'll give you give an overview of both platforms, highlighting the differences you'll want to know about if you're in a dilemma of which one to use. What is Gemini? Gemini is an AI-powered chatbot developed by Google that can communicate and generate human-like text in response to a wide range of questions. Originally launched under the name of Bard in February 2023, but since rebranded to Gemini, the chatbot has garnered significant attention for its ability to reason, understand, and solve problems across various domains. One of Gemini's key strengths is that it's multi-model. Gemini is also known for its exceptional reasoning ability. It can analyze vast amounts of information and easily draw insightful conclusions and connections. This reasoning is supported by Gemini's direct connection to Google, which allows it to answer questions with real-time information so that its responses are always up to date. Gemini comes in three versions, Gemini Ultra, Gemini Pro, and Gemini Nano. Now, what is ChatGPT? ChatGPT is a large language model, LLM, trained on a massive data set of text and code from the internet, allowing it to engage in conversations and answer questions on any topic from the user. Developed by OpenAI, the ChatGPT can generate human-quality text, translate languages, write different kinds of creative content, and most importantly, hold engaging conversations on various topics. ChatGPT was one of the first chatbots of its kind when it launched in November 2022. It's largely credited with setting off the AI revolution that has gripped Silicon Valley over the past year or so, and has since reached over 180 million users, and is backed by tech giants such as Microsoft and Innocis, making OpenAI a frontrunner in the AI race. But that doesn't mean ChatGPT is the best chatbot in the world. It just means it's the oldest, and that isn't always a good thing. Many of the other chatbot providers have since borrowed OpenAI's GPT LLM to use in their own specialist chatbots, meaning that there are many chatbots out there with similar capabilities to ChatGPT. ChatGPT also comes in two versions the free GPT 3.5 version and the paid GPT 4 version also known as ChatGPT+. Now let's take a look at some of the significant differences between the two. So the first we'd be looking at is the language model. First, it's worth noting that both Gemini and ChatGPT are based on incredibly vast and powerful large language models, far more advanced than anything publicly available in the past. Remember, ChatGPT is just the interface through which users communicate with the language model GPT-4, a paying user of ChatGPT Pro version or the free version GPT-3.5. Something important to take into consideration is that although we call them both chatbots, the intended user experience is slightly different. ChatGPT is designed to enable conversations and help solve problems in a conversational manner, much like chatting with an expert on a subject. Gemini, on the other hand, seems designed to process information and automate tasks in a way that saves the user time and effort. Information Retrieval One advantage of Gemini is that by default, it considers all of the information at its fingertips, including the Internet, Google's vast knowledge graph, and its training data. 
ChatGPT, on the other hand, will often still choose to try and answer a question solely relying on its training data. This can occasionally lead to out-of-date information. However, you can circumvent this by prompting it to search the web to get the latest and most up-to-date data. In our experience of using both platforms, we would have to say that Gemini proves to be slightly more adept than ChatGPT when it comes to online searching and integrating the information it finds into its responses. Multimodal Capabilities Early versions of ChatGPT only read and generated text. But since OpenAI upgraded its engine to GPT-4, it gained the ability to process visual and audio data, making it multimodal. Gemini, on the other hand, was multimodal out of the box, although not all of its features were immediately activated. ChatGPT generates images, which was also developed by OpenAI. Gemini, on the other hand, utilizes Google's Image 2 engine. Both are clearly very powerful and can generate amazing results. However, I would say that ChatGPT is more consistent when it comes to creating an image that closely matches what I was looking for when we compare them on a same prompt basis. One difference that's been noted by others is that Imogen 2 and Gemini are slightly better at producing photorealistic, very highly detailed images. ChatGPT, on the other hand, excels when it comes to managing spatial relationships between objects in its images, and it is better at creatively interpreting prompts. Both are also capable of understanding and writing computer code across a huge range of programming languages. There are slight differences in how they do this, though. Now, we're not programmers. But the great thing is, with ChatGPT or Gemini in front of you, you don't need to be. There's no doubt that ChatGPT's superior conversational abilities give it some significant advantages here. If you aren't quite sure what your code should do or about the best way to integrate it, it's better when it comes to generating clear and helpful guidance and offering suggestions and tips. And the winner here is, we're going to give this one to ChatGPT again. While Gemini does create better photos, ChatGPT wins when it comes to generating images that closely match what the user is asking for with their prompt. Gemini seems slightly better at creating technical code, but can't match ChatGPT as a conversational interface to use while building and experimenting. So which is best? Well, neither is by any means perfect. Both still suffer from hallucinations and will fairly frequently provide information that is simply wrong. For example, Gemini told us that OpenAI's Dolly 2 doesn't use diffusion model technology. It does. And ChatGPT told us that Gemini isn't capable of generating images. It is. But for our money, if you're only going to subscribe to one, we'd be inclined to go for ChatGPT Pro at the moment. There are a few caveats. If you're heavily into Google's ecosystem, then Gemini's ability to interface with Gmail and Google Docs is likely to be a star attraction for you. Similarly, if you're an experienced coder and your main need is coding, definitely check out Gemini. For writing and creating documents, summarizing, general purpose image generation, and learning through conversations, we'd say ChatGPT is better right now. For this reason, it retains its place as the best that's currently available. And that's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. See you in the next one.